You won't hear it. You won't see it. When the B-2 spirit is on its way, the strike has already begun. Yesterday, on June 21st, 2025, seven of America's most advanced bombers flew across the world without being detected. They hit Iran's nuclear sites with absolute precision. This was Operation Midnight Hammer, a mission that proved stealth isn't just a tactic, it's a message. Before sunrise on June 22, 2025, Iran's nuclear sites were quiet. But high above, something deadly was already moving. Seven B-2 Spirit bombers had crossed half the world undetected, preparing to strike. According to Business Insider, this was Operation Midnight Hammer, the most secretive U.S. air mission since 2001. Launched from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, the bombers flew 18 hours non-stop, refueled mid-air, and bypassed every defense system on Earth. They weren't just carrying bombs, they were carrying a warning. The B-2 Spirit is unlike any aircraft in the world. Its stealth design, radar-absorbing skin, and ultra-quiet engines make it nearly invisible to enemy systems. As reported by Politico, each bomber in the strike carried a single GBU-57, the massive ordnance penetrator. Weighing 30,000 pounds, it's the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in America's arsenal. Twelve bombs were aimed at Fordo, two more at Natanz, Iran's most fortified nuclear sites. There was no warning, no sound, just sudden destruction. Seven B-2s left Missouri under total radio silence. But this wasn't just a direct flight. According to AP News, eight more B-2s flew a different route as decoys to confuse Iranian radar. Meanwhile, over 125 American aircraft moved into position. F-22 Raptors, F-35s, AWACS command planes, and dozens of tankers supported the mission. But the strike itself rested on the B-2s, silent, invisible, and surgically precise. Iran's air defense network is considered one of the most complex in the region. But during this operation, it was completely blind. Between 2.10 and 2.35 a.m. local time, according to CBS News, the bombs hit. Twelve bunker busters slammed into Fordow, a facility built deep under a mountain. At the same time, a U.S. Navy submarine in the Persian Gulf launched over two dozen Tomahawk cruise missiles targeting Natanz and Isfahan. In less than half an hour, the strike was complete. Iran never saw it coming. By morning, satellite images confirmed the scale of the damage. As reported by CBS, Fordo was flattened. Natanz had visible structural collapse. President Trump declared that the U.S. had completely eliminated key nuclear infrastructure. A senior Pentagon official, cited by Politico, said all three sites suffered extreme destruction. Iran claimed there were no radiation leaks and that material had been moved. But analysts questioned those statements. The silence of Iran's defenses may have spoken louder than any official response. Tehran responded cautiously. Publicly, it downplayed the strike. But according to the Washington Post, Iran quietly placed missile units and naval forces on alert. U.S. bases across Iraq and the Gulf were also reinforced. The Strait of Hormuz, through which a fifth of the world's oil flows, became a point of tension overnight. Iran warned of retaliation, but it faced a dilemma. Hit back and escalate, or hold back and appear weak. Meanwhile, the B-2s were already home, untouched. The B-2 Spirit is one of the most feared platforms in the world for a reason. No other bomber can fly directly from the continental U.S., dodge every radar, and strike with this kind of precision. As explained by Business Insider, the B-2 doesn't need a forward base. It doesn't need fighter escorts. It doesn't need a second chance. It launches from home, hits with surgical accuracy, 
and disappears. Operation Midnight Hammer proved what the B-2 was always built for, dominating the skies with total invisibility. This strike wasn't just a military operation, it was a strategic message, not just to Iran, but to the world. The United States showed that it can act globally, strike precisely, and operate in total silence. According to Politico, Pentagon officials called it a strategic reset, the most complex and effective long-range strike since 2003. The B-2 spirit didn't just drop bombs, it reminded every adversary what true stealth warfare looks like. No warning, no radar contact, no second chance.